Okay, we're rolling here. This is uh, Rick R. Strattenstein. Hello. Just to show some Odie's oiling of uh, the uh, Sir Andrew build here. So I thought I'd uh, show you the whole process. Here's the Odie's just uh, as it is before it's mixed. You can see it's kind of like honey. <clears throat> but I'm going to spend a little time uh, mixing this stuff. Huh, I just realized I'll probably all you could see is my big fat hairy arm. Here's the Odie's before it's thoroughly mixed up. But, uh, I'm going to try the back side of the uh, covers here first. And they say to use a white, or one of the luthier sites says to use a white pad, Scotch Bright pad, and uh, of course, very limited amounts. It's real thick, it's real sticky when it first goes on. And you just kind of work it in with a Scotch Bright pad. And as you work it, it gets more soft and uh, easily uh, rubbed in. And you just keep rubbing the stuff in there. Let's see, I'm almost out of frame there. Now we're going to try the uh, the bony fingers uh, cover. The uh, the back side has bony fingers also. Let's see if we can make them come up here. Man, this looks like an X-ray of a hand. Actually, a right hand. There's a thumb and there's a fingers. Interesting. Never saw that before I really polished this piece of wood up. Okie doke. We've repositioned uh, our victim here for uh, maximum uh, operational uh, convenience. And uh, we're going to start on the back side to do the ODs. And uh, I thought it might be kind of fun to uh, help out our little friend, the... Uh, Yeti, see him there? Little beady eyes and his shoulders. And all right, he's still there waiting for his oil treatment. And in fact, it's going to be a hot oil treatment because uh, you may recognize this as the uh, foundry uh, air supply. But uh, we're going to warm things up a little bit first. doesn't take very much, but fooling around with this stuff, I discovered it does help a pretty good bit. Makes it go on a lot more smoothly and uh, rubs in and seems to penetrate more deeply. Oh yeah, and there's Mr. Yeti's uh, grain poppage there. Stuff levels out very fast. And I'm probably using way too much. It's just hard to not use too much, really. Well, anyway, that's looking pretty good. Um, nothing else Odie's does pop the grain. Stuff has a nice citrusy smell when it first comes out of the bottle. And also has kind of overtones of maybe turpentine or something. And then eventually just smells kind of oily. <laughs> but seeing as how that's what it is, it's probably not a bad thing. So anyway, you let that soak in, check it in 10 minutes. If anything looks really dry, you uh, hit it again, give it a little more. It says until the pores are saturated, but in this uh, walnut, that'd be quite a chunk of stuff.